Roblox is taking over the world. Roblox is a game. No, a platform. No, a metaverse in which dreams turn into realities. Will you be my Roblox girlfriend? No, not those dreams. These dreams. In 2021, Roblox developers collectively earned $500 million of Robux through their creations. In 2022, Bloxburg, a paid access game on Roblox, was sold to the Embracer Group for $100 million. Up until 2023, the developers of Jailbreak made 1 billion Robux through microtransactions. But just how hard is it to make it in the Roblox universe? Hello viewer, I'm Gandhi and I'm the former CEO of about 35 startups which have all collapsed in fantastic manners. And I am about to pour my blood, sweat, and tears into making my very own Roblox game. This will not just be a video, this will be the starting point of my journey and I'm so glad you could come along. A good game is like a drug. It's fun to play alone, but even better with friends. After making my entire game design sheet, I knew what features the game needed and got to work. My first optical was making a gun model through Blender. I barely used Blender before and after this experience, I don't know if I want to use it again, but here it is. A crappy gun model that took way too long. I imported that gun model into Roblox and followed an official Roblox scripting tutorial to add a shoot mechanic, and I must say, the outcome of that was hot garbage. It was buggy, it looked terrible, and it felt horrendous to shoot. Also, it shoots backwards when you jump. After fixing that bug, it somehow created another bug. Actually, wait, this is pretty cool. I did some more client-side animations and server-side scripting to make it replicate to other players. I was getting kind of hopeful here. It looks decent, but it's still very bad, so I added some more effects. Then I added a sprint and called it a day. My game also needed some enemies, so I referenced some zombie script and added it to the game. To make the game more original, I also created an epic monster. Shut up, I know that was very underwhelming. I added a red tint for whenever I took damage and created a smooth health bar for our player. Now with the bare bones features done, I began to work on some more creative stuff. My next idea was to make a chest with items. I found a chest model and attached a proximity prompt to it. When you hold down a button for long enough, it opens. I decided to just get rid of the hold duration and make it open immediately. Then I made my very first item that I called Sugar, which makes you run faster and is definitely getting nerfed. I also added a cool notice on the bottom of the screen that gives some more info about the item the player got. I also ran into a bug with my very epic monster, which was quickly fixed in a scuffed fashion. I also added a price to each chest and a coin and XP system, and then I... <sighs> Let's just say I'm going to condense an entire week of suffering into a few seconds for you guys. I rewrote all the systems and used the best techniques like caching parts, client-side rendering, and using a weapon system so this project doesn't crumble on itself when I try to add game-breaking features. And look at that! You guys probably don't get this, but I am so happy that players can finally see each other's projectiles. <laughs> and I cried myself to sleep so many times this week. Also, you guys remember this monster? BAM! Look at that! That's kinda sick though, no? I quickly added some hit markers, and I think I can finally make a map and get that minimum product out there. Programming is hard. Not programming is also hard. Life is hard. I hate my life. So to make the map, I decided to use the Roblox Terrain Editor. I just think it looks a lot better making an open environment than some closed space using Roblox parts. It looked pretty easy in the documentation, but man, I really underestimated how bad I am with anything visual. This map was looking really bad. And this was actually where I began to give up on the game. I was so focused on scripting and optimizations that I completely forgot that 60% of what makes a good game good is the non-technical stuff. When I finally finished my map making session, I was super unmotivated to keep going. Just look at it. It's disgusting. Also, I felt like throwing up because all the movements I was doing in the Roblox editor was making me nauseous. But don't worry, your boy watched some map making tutorials and salvaged what looks like a pile of green shit. And look at that, triple A quality map design. It was way bigger than I expected it to be, but it works for the minimum product. And at least an inexperienced developer could say it's somewhat decent. I added some monster spawns, a boss pillar, and a quest system, and I think we got ourselves a game. 
Now all there was left to do was make a boring spawn area and a way to get a group of friends into the game. And I'll be honest, I forgot to record that part, but here's a video of me playing the game with some friends. The video doesn't have any audio because I didn't want my YouTube video to interfere with the moment of just simply making a game to share with other people, so you guys are just gonna have to bear with me here. But yeah, playing the game was actually a lot better than I anticipated it to be. It was actually kind of fun just having all of us shoot bullets at the monsters and seeing the entire atmosphere just being filled with gun noises and abilities and I'm happy I slowed down the project to go back and optimize everything because with the original system this would not be possible at all. At the end of the playthrough, I found a new source of motivation to keep going. But it wasn't the same motivation that I started with. I'm gonna be real, I just wanted to make a Roblox game as a gimmick for my YouTube video and give up on it completely afterwards. But after this, I just wanted to make the game better and more fun for my players. Just a grand total of zero people. Developing a video game is like a work of art. It is an intersection of multiple disciplines. And unlike a painting that requires complex knowledge to appreciate, a game is something even the average Roblox gamer can enjoy. Maybe I've just been living my life wrong this entire time. Maybe I need to stop focusing on the results and just enjoy the process. Maybe I need to stop getting philosophical here and plug my Discord server before the video ends. Link in description, I'll post updates on my projects and you can talk to me there because it's dead as fuck and I'll probably see your message. So yeah, if you guys want to learn coding or maybe just to try something new, I'd say Roblox Game Dev is a fun starting point. Maybe you can join me on this journey too and we can all work on something we're proud of.